Well, hello there. Uh, so this tutorial is basically just going to show you how to make up tempo, maybe just like hardcore stuff in a in FL Studio Mobile. Um, I'm not going to be using my phone. I'm actually going to be using the uh, FL Mobile plugin on FL Studio. So let's just switch over to here. Uh, and I'll open up FL Studio uh, Mobile. Oh, what the fuck? What is this? Allow. Oh, okay. I, I guess I had to allow access to that. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> um, so, basically, when. When you're on FL Studio Mobile, if you're on a mobile device, uh, if you change this, it'll change the BPM like normal. But um, for this, you have to turn up the uh, the actual project to BPM. So normal up tempo ranges from anywhere from like 220 to 260 BPM. Um, actually, I take that back. It's as slow as maybe 200 or 190. Um, but that's ranging around like the normal hardcore sort of stuff, like the uh, mainstream shit. So I'll uh, stick with 220. So we open up a new project, uh, set the BPM. It doesn't really matter the BPM because it's just gonna switch to 220 automatically. Um, actually, wait. Yeah, see, if you play that, it's weird, because if you play this, it plays at 220. Oh, wait, no, it's already actually set to there. Okay, so, uh, it, this is really fucking weird. Um, so, open this up. Uh, now, in here, you just want to open up a normal kick, uh, something like, uh, uh, where the fuck... I put that thing. Um, that's it? I thought that this thing had a lot more. I guess it's just a simplified version. But um, I guess I'm going to have to like drag my... The one that I normally use into here, so... Where the hell is it? Uh, here it is. Yeah. Okay. And, um, audio clip, my files, samples, oh, here it is, okay. So, all you have to do is use something similar to this. Uh, that, actually, a few of the downstream kicks you can use to make this, um, you can even like use the the legacy dance kick to thing that everyone uses, um, but this is my favorite one. Um, so if you play it, or you gotta loop it or whatever, it's so weird having to use a like a mouse because you have to like left and right click to mimic uh, dragging, I think or tapping and holding or something like that, I don't know, but, okay, now it's playing, um, how do you zoom in, how do you zoom in, help, help, uh, okay, yeah, this is so weird, uh, okay, fine, fine, I'll just, okay, okay, um, so now it's playing like this, fine, uh, so open up, the uh, the channel add uh, distortion okay you know what it's on second thought I think I might have to add a soft clipper to the master just for like minuscule uh, what is it what is the uh, uh, minuscule mastering Actually, you don't even have to use a soft clipper on the master track because on the master in here, you can just add a distortion and then soft. Okay, well maybe not because it's getting loud. Hang on. Yeah, 
yeah, so just, I guess if you want to make it limited or whatever, what, if, if you want there to be basically a limiter on, on your kick, then just open up uh, a distortion on the master and then change it to a soft clipper um, and then make the gain minus three uh, decibels. So then go back here. Um, yeah, it's working. Okay. So, uh, I guess you, we're going to mess with the drive later on, um, and maybe even the bias. Uh, but for now, I think you just keep it, uh, or change it to tube. Um, that was weird. What the hell was that? Uh, anyways, uh, opening, open up a, uh, the parametric equalizer, uh, turn the gain up all the way, add some middle, sort of, add some points around here, um, basically, just, the, this, the, uh, the trick for, basically, excuse me, any up tempo kick is basically just the uh, add mids um, and then distort and then add lows to where it sounds good. Uh, that's very that, that's a very dumbed down version of it, but as you can hear, it's already taking shape. I guess you could say. Um, so. Okay, I do not know why it's getting quieter and then louder every time it plays. That's very weird. Uh, oh, what the fuck did I just do? Okay. Um, so the bandwidth uh, can also be adjusted to make more tonal sounding kicks, so... Shit, that actually doesn't sound bad. Um... Ha ha, guys, funny. <laughs> Vote for a GPF. <laughs> um, but uh, actually, no, please don't. Uh, also, this isn't even the uh the last thing you have to do. The last thing you have to do is uh distortion again. <laughs> Uh, and then tube clip it, drive 100. Okay. Um, and just e fuck around with the equalizer. Sounds like a fucking gravelly gabber kick. Um, guess another parametric EQ2, but then a, no, 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 uh, move it up. Okay. How, how do I scroll down? Oh, there we go. I need to turn the volume down because I need to hear my voice. Let's, let's, uh, I got an, I got an idea. Let's, uh, really quick, let's make that, and then, oh god, how do I do this? Add, add, add automate, what the hell? Oh, god. Oh, 
Okay, basically, if you want to make an automation clip of something, uh, just drag one of these nodes, or not nodes, but one of these dials, and then click Control, and then add automation track. And that will add an automation track of whatever the hell you want. So I will just make something like this, where it does that, and then goes up like that, um, I guess. Uh, that didn't work at all. Uh. Oh, there we go. That's fucking awful. Um, that's that's positively awful. Uh, how do we get ah, how do we get rid of this? Okay, there we go. Ah, not edit. What the fuck? Delete. Okay. What does it, what does it mean? Delete empty track. Oh, okay. Um, I'm just basically fucking memeing around. Uh, shit. What? Oh, yeah. We can also adjust the uh, the drive and the bias on this first one. Sounds like, uh, sounds like FX, honestly. Uh, God, what now? Uh, ooh, not parametric, fuck. Um, so I actually, unlike FL uh, Studio, I actually, if I'm bored as shit and making music on my phone, uh, or if I'm like, you know, if... I'm on the go or something. I actually use graphic EQs sometimes, um, and only to like target certain frequencies in a certain way, um, like adding bass. So, yeah. Fuck, did I just- did I- did I just make a fucking up-tempo French core kick? But that's basically all what, like, hardcore is about, is just experimenting the fuck out of EQs and distortion on a kick. Um, and that- that's how you'll get something like this. Um, just, like- Experiment with distortion, equalizing, um, and, uh, and tube and hard distortion, uh, and make sure you put a fucking soft clipper on the master. Basically, this, this is basically a soft clipper because it's a soft distortion. Uh, so, that's really almost about it. Uh, except for, yeah, again, you have to use the, um, most of the time it's the formula of, uh, well, at least on mobile, is distorting first, then adding an EQ, adding mids, adding another distorter, or whatever the fuck, and then uh, going back to the EQ and adding lows. Um, and when it comes to the actual type of distortion, I use tube, but I also used to use hard distortion, um, and it's actually pretty much the same. I think I don't fucking know honestly. Uh, <laughs> so all all I'm all I want you to do is just not use clip distortion because that that's just awful. Well, not not on here, but where, what the fuck is it? Oh god. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, like if you go about go up here and then use clip. Okay, I'm sorry. What the fuck? Huh? Why isn't it? Uh, okay. I thought, I, I mean, I don't know how this shit works, okay, I just experiment with it, and shit works. Um, so, 
Uh, what else am I forgetting? I feel like I'm forgetting a... Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so... If you want to export your kick, um, to use it in other things, just make it like this, uh, so it it only exports this, but it actually cuts off the, uh, the audio. Um, so it records the entire kick and not just the, uh, this little bit of it. So that way, when you're making kick rolls or whatever, if you're making a higher pitched kick, it can actually like cover that part instead of just like cutting off, uh, cause it's a higher pitch and it'll play faster. So save this, um, What the fuck? Huh? Um, huh? Uh... Okay, well, um, that's... That's a bit of a predicament. Because it would normally have WAV and MP3. But no, FLM and MIDI are the only things that are available. And I do not understand why. So my phone right here I'm just gonna explain to you guys how the fuck to export okay I can actually use it um, in FL mobile so if you use FL mobile uh, go to save and you would click or tap rather mp3 and you tap save and uh, hang on I gotta rename this file because I was working on something earlier uh, and I don't know what it was so when you tap on uh, save mp3, actually no, you should probably save it in WAV. So new, no not new, fucking save WAV, rename the song again, uh, and then I'll just save it. So you don't want to do normalize level, uh, actually yeah, you, you probably want to do normalize level because it has a distortion at the end of it, so that's probably a, uh, a good thing to do. So then you want to tap, or do you want to turn on tr uh, trim initial silence uh, and turn on high quality? And you don't have to render it to the last bar because then it renders the entire selection instead of cutting it off where the uh, where the silence starts. So um, that would be how you export it on here, but instead on uh, FL Studio, uh, I can just open up a Edison on here and record it. So there you have it. Um, oh god. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh no. Uh, <laughs> um. Okay. Um. Drag this into there. We go. Okay. Um. And then from there, drag this into. Uh. Studio Mobile. Um, oh, uh, it's big boy. Um, okay. What the fuck? Did I just? God damn it! Okay, 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 okay. Uh, replace with fucking uh, FL Studio Mobile. Okay. Why didn't I just turn on the detach thing? Where the hell is? Where the hell is it? Detach. Here we go. Detached. Ah, ah, it's covering the entire screen. Shit. Um. Okay. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, open up new and empty. It doesn't matter the BPM because it's gonna reset to 220. Uh, okay. And now, if you ever want to, oh wait, shit, gotta load it into here. Oh god, what the hell? What? Ah. Uh, why can't I just... Okay, you know what? Fine. Fine. I'll drag it onto my desktop. Okay. Whatever the fuck that is. Um, and then... Okay. Please. Ah! Okay. Okay. Please. Oh, yes! Okay. Now it's finally imported. That took way longer than it had to. Or needed to at all. So, if you want to make a standard kick roll for your uh, kick, you have either two ways of doing it either direct wave 
uh, which is if if you export it through WAV, um, you just open the, the WAV. Uh, and where the fuck is it? Ah! What the fuck? I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh, that that's the uh, that's the modified version. Okay. Uh, so yeah, just open it up in here, and down here. Just the the uh, the good thing about this is that unlike uh, FL Studio, uh, like the the normal FL Studio, when uh, a note stops playing, it actually stops playing the uh, audio. So then you could just do this. I actually just realized that this thing needs a bit more bass. Uh, I'll just... Is there even, like, uh... Ah, ah. What in the hell? Okay. Uh, distortion, soft... That actually doesn't sound bad, except it needs a bit more highs, which would mean drive more. So yeah, there's um, that way, and then uh, there's another way, which is just uh, by opening up the uh, audio clip and just copying, oh god, copy, uh, paste, oh this is so weird, okay. Yeah, uh, but you can also do this, bitch down one of these. Um, I think the only real, uh, perk that you get out of doing this is maybe you could pan the, uh, the audio, so you could do something like this, uh, if this doesn't fucking export in mono or some stupid shit. Uh, which you probably won't, so, um, okay, there we go, and something like this, so, yeah, uh, that's about it, uh, I encourage you guys to experiment with this, um, and, uh, I'll see you, uh, in, in a few months when I decide to, uh, make another fucking up-tempo tutorial or something, something stupid like that, or maybe I'll stream, I don't know. Uh, see you.